In this instance, we're going to find the first four terms of the sequence defined by this explicit formula. So let's go ahead and do that. This is our third example. Our first term, a sub 1, Notice n is equal to 1, so anywhere there's an n, I'm going to write 1. So here's n, n is 1, and in the denominator 2 times 1, because n is 1, minus 1. And you get negative 1 to the first power is negative 1, and 2 times 1 is 2 minus 1, so that gives you 1. And negative 1 over 1 is negative 1. a sub 2, anywhere there's an n, you're going to write 2, so there I write 2 because the exponent is an n, and 2 times n would be 2 times 2 minus 1, which equals positive 1 over 4 minus 1, which is 3. For a sub 3, you're going to have negative 1 to the third power over 2 times 3 minus 1 and that'll give you negative 1, 6 minus 1, which is 5. a sub 4 is negative 1 to the fourth power over 2 times 4 minus 1. And that equals positive 1 over 8 minus 1, which is 7. And there you have the first four terms of the sequence, which we can list as negative 1, 1 third, negative 1 fifth, and 1 seventh. One thing I want to mention about this sequence is that this term, negative 1 to the nth power, um, whenever n is odd or whenever the position of the term is an odd position, which means position number 1, position number 3, those terms are negative. Notice that. And whenever n is even, this will be a positive number. So the even positions in this sequence, notice they are positive. Okay? So this is important to know because sometimes we are going to work backwards. We're going to give you the terms of the sequence and you have to find the explicit form of the sequence. So if you notice that the terms are alternating in signs, then this would be the trick to obtain that. Okay? So very important to know. I'll see you in the next video.